Hi everybody, I'm Georgina Bisbee and welcome to my YouTube channel Just George and more importantly welcome to my brand new renovation series. So I'm so excited to be starting this renovation vlog because I've literally been just living and breathing building work and renovation for the past year and I've been filming everything that we've been doing along the way, taking lots of pictures and uh, we're now at a stage of the project where uh, we're ready to start taking on some of the jobs ourselves and also ready to really just share the whole project with you. So very excited. Time. A little bit of background about myself and the project. So by day I am a journalist and uh, one of the uh, things that I edit is a website called Skill Builder. So I'm used to writing all about building products and ideas and techniques and I also work on the Skill Builder YouTube channel. So that's given me a great background for this project because uh, I know and have a fair, fairly good idea of what the latest products and ideas are out on the market. So I've been at a huge uh, advantage from that perspective I suppose. I'm the mum of two young boys, a three-year-old and a five-year-old, and we moved into this house in 2008. Now, we did some very basic renovation work at the time, but we always knew that we wanted to extend, so we held off doing anything too major and thought we'd wait until we had the funds to do it. In actual fact, we never really quite reached that point, but the kids were fast outgrowing the size that we had. It's a three-bedroom, semi-detached house, and uh, we, we really wanted to either move or to extend. So we did our maths, and we decided that we could afford to just about get the structure up of an extension, and then if we saved hard as we went and uh, took on some extra work, then we could, uh, we could slowly then finish it as we went along. So we've done just that, we've managed to get the structure up and we're now at that stage where really to finish it off we need to take on as much of the work as we can. So we're all about saving and we've made loads of savings along the way including we never got an architect for the project, we actually did the design work ourselves, we used a technical drawer instead, we did the application ourselves, we even did an appeal ourselves which we managed to, won, to win. So we've kind of shown that lots of things are possible when you put your mind and your time to it. Um, but it's also a big challenge and, uh, and we'll be sharing some of those. So these pictures just show you a little bit of an overview of how far we've come and some of the plans that we've got. The next major uh, job for us really is sorting out the garden because we've just had the bifold doors installed. And using the bifold doors, we're gonna basically connect the new kitchen dining area with the old living room. We're gonna create a deck which joins the two areas and then we're gonna have steps down to the garden, flatten out the garden so that the boys have got a lawn to play on. But of course, throughout the winter when we've been doing the building work, the garden's been uh, filling up with rubbish. It's become a bit of a dumping ground. So there was a huge tidy up job to do before we could get moving on any of that. So that gives you a quick overview of what we're up to. I really hope that you'll join us for the rest of the series because we've got loads to share, loads of information and loads of lessons that we've learned along the way. And I'd love to hear yours as well because it can be a really difficult, daunting and a very lonely process, I think, because you have to make a lot of sacrifices when you're building, um, you know, especially if you're doing it on a budget. You may just be pouring all of your money into your building work, can't afford to do very much else, you know, your time as well. So it's tough. It's worth it, it's definitely worth it, and we're just really at that stage where it's starting to pay off and we're already enjoying having the increased space, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, I think you need definitely need people around you doing the same thing, so hopefully we can all keep each other motivated if you're, uh, if you're in the same boat as us. But thank you so much for watching. If you found this useful or interesting, please do subscribe, please do come back, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.